Cradle TV show, the best and most unique platform for undiluted information. Showing on NTA Channel 12, yo. Community Report. Spotlight report. Fashion and stuff. Documentaries. Exclusive interviews. Showing on NTA Channel 12 Yo. TV show, your true platform for development. Are you in search of a place where luxury is the watchword and comfort is your priority in a serene environment? Hit your brakes and stop right here as Kini's Luxury Apartment is located at number 20 Basumo Gas Road, Osongoma Estate, Uyo Akwaibom State. We well furnished duplex apartments, VIP lounge, restaurant, pool bar, conference room, ticketing office, table tennis, and a well secured parking space. We also have Kini's Lodge located at number 1 Johnny Beer Heaven Estate, 100 Unit Udaudoma Avenue. Uyo, Akwaibom State, with well-furnished single rooms, sit out with drinks, suya spots, chicken, bush meat, and shawarma. For bookings and reservation, please call 0903-000-2145 or 0903-000-2146. Our WhatsApp number is 0903-000-2147 or you can visit our website on www.kinisapartment.com.ng. Guinness Luxury Apartments and Lodge, a lifestyle you deserve. You, you deserve. Hello there. Good evening and thank you so very much for coming on your number one TV program, The Cradle TV Show on NTH Channel 12 Uyo. I am your regular host, Dara Udoma, and today on the show we actually paid host to uh, a sensitization program of this COVID-19 with this wonderful uh, non-governmental organization, the flag of, of the uh, sensitization of the COVID-19 uh, with Aided Amana Foundation in a Yetong village in our own local government era. This is where he actually um, played host and then gave in to the vulnerables, the, the less privileged, the poorest of the poor, by cushioning the effects of this global pandemic, coronavirus, popularly known as COVID-19. I want to urge you to enjoy this documentary, Go Nowhere. We'll be back after this wonderful piece. Once again, keep watching the Cradle TV show on NTA Channel 12. I still remain Dara Doma, your regular host. Sunday, 17th May 2020 will forever remain a memorable day in the history of Obiodun clan in a Yetong community of oral local government area in a Kwaibom state. As a frontline non-governmental organization in charge of health care service, education and learning program, poverty alleviation, wealth creation and community slash cultural development Aided a man of foundation storms the area for an enlightenment campaign against the spread of coronavirus and the distribution of food items, face masks in the community to the vulnerable, the poorest of the poor, the less privileged and the low income earners. Receiving the campaign train, the clan head of the community of Fong Samuel Fiong expressed joy on his choice of his clan for the campaign flag of. Um, <laughs> He is expressing thanks to members of the Mass Foundation for finding time to be here and for finding a don't fix to be the first beneficiary of this program. He's saying thank you and also saying thank you to 
uh, Dr. Eddie Damana and every one of you. And he's saying you are highly really welcome. Speaking further, he said that the magnanimous gesture by engineer Edith Amana is simply an answer to his prayers, which he has been praying over the months after Governor Dom Emmanuel and Onofiak look did their own part. The chief is saying that when the governor sent uh, his police press representative that he had uttered prayers that some well meaning songs of horror should also implicate uh, the government gesture. And that what the Rama is uh, doing today is answer to his prayers. Mm. He thanks Sir Edith Amana for always supporting the community in times like this, recalling in retrospect how he offered the job opportunities to youth of the community. Saying that Saida Ramana's gesture has provided jobs for teaming youth in Oro and then so, uh, helping to solve unemployment problems. The royal father poured his royal blessings to engineer Edith Amana. So, good call. No, so bad. I was in the The team is praying that God should grant him long life so that he will continue to bless all of And also that God will also give you the staff long life, wisdom to perform your duties excellently. The awareness campaign demonstration session, which was interactive in nature, was anchored by a 300-level student volunteer in the Department of Medicine and Surgery, Niger Delta University, Mr. William Thangard. I want to was discovered as a world health organization in December 2019. Take a little about the news train, never about any point for me. COVID 19. What do you want to do for the six? Four down. For two weeks. Better for that for one week. For the whole week. Covid nineteen is a novel coronavirus that originated from animal zoonotic, from animal to human, and from person to person. to the of the task. we are doing well. We are doing well. We are so what you do when you come, you pick your soul. Turn on your top. 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 Turn on your top.
Oh, my Simon, I have got a mini bar. So if you keep enduring and keep watching and watch, you can do a little song so that you don't feel so bad. Or you can do a little song so that you don't feel so bad. Or you can do a High point of the event was a house-to-house -house distribution of food items and face masks across the clan in company of His Royal Majesty of Fong Samuel A. Fiong. Amen. Okay. The beneficiaries of the palliatives who spoke with the crew of the Cradle TV show Pray for Long Life in Prosperity to Engineer Sir Edith Amana. I don't know if it's a matter of a matter for the other language. So I don't miss it. This is good. So anyway, I used to happy when I see Edith Amana. Because I know him since a long time. I know he anything about him. So, so today I see things where he do for the way he I say, Edema, God bless you for what you did to poor and rich people, big and small, old and young. God give you more than more to do more than more and bless your people more than more. In Jesus' name, Amen. In fact, Elama has set a very good example in the entire Oral Nation. Nobody has ever done this except Elama himself. So he has quenched the hunger in the each family, the poorest of the poor family. They make them alive again. He has given them life again with hope to survive the COVID-19. So as a chief, what would you say to um, Ede Tamanam on his benevolence to portion the effects of COVID-19 in a Yeton village in Oron? Well, what I can say is that I pray God Almighty to bless him and give him more enablement, zeal to do more than this that he has done. Then he should also, since he has this love to us, I believe whatever he would do he will not be left out. That I know. Please, uh, Chief, how would you love to be addressed? His Royal Highness of Fong Samuel Onobo, the okay. clan head of Ubodong and Aliyo Warung Won in our nation. Okay. okay, you're still on the Cradle TV show on NTHNL 12. My name is Daru Doma and we're right here with the manager of Aid Data Mana Foundation. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome. Good afternoon, my name is Cyril Bio, the Foundation Manager of Eddie Damana Foundation. Okay, so what would you love to say about what is going on, um, um, this great man, this dynamic man giving up this palliatives to cushion the effects of coronavirus in a Yetong village? Yes, the Eddie Damana Foundation has been on the forefront of um, philanthropy in the uh, Oron Nation and Akwaibo at large. And uh, what we've been able to do is because the rural community uh, are, are more impacted with the effect of this uh, coronavirus. And we expect that if we help this way, by uh, coming to this sensitization, it's going to help coronavirus to, to stay away from here. And then because 
Um, the lockdown has caused so much, so much, so much, so much. Um, a lot of persons are not having food to eat. And then the, the foundation felt we can have relief materials that will help these people to at least have food on their table. Uh, we may not be doing plenty or not big. We cannot take care of everybody. But we know whatever we are doing because we have selected families to go out to, to work with. So all the palliatives have been sent to the five um, larger families of uh, Ayo Town community, our host community. And we feel that this, this one will be enough and will be, will be a little bit helpful to, to these families. It was a day like never before for the people of a Yetong community in Oron local government area. At this point, we say to God be the glory. All right, and that is where we draw the curtain for today on our program, the Cradle TV show on NTA Channel 12 Uyo. I'm sure you had a thrilling moment, um, courtesy of ADAF. Aided to uh, Amana Foundation. I want to urge you to keep practicing personal hygiene by washing your hands regularly with soap and running water using alcohol, hand base, and sanitizer. And of course, keep social distancing. And when you want to sneeze, please cover your mouth while sneezing. And please, I want to urge you all there not to indulge in self medication. And if you have any problem, do well to call the NCDC. Stay safe for a living dog is better than a dead lion. The Cradle TV Show, your true platform for development. My name still remains Daru Doma, your regular host for now. Bye. <laughs>